Hello everyone, my name is Ali Reza Muradzadeh. I'm going to today present our work on coarse grain force field development for room temperature ionic liquid in Professor Ali Ruz group in University of uh, Ur Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. So firstly, I want to give you an introduction about room temperature ionic liquid, which are a new class of solvent. They are mostly composed of organic uh, cations and inorganic anions. Uh, due to their molecular structure, they are in liquid state in room temperature and below that, even though they have highly charged system. And they, they have a couple of different names, such as green solvent because of their organic par part. And also they are known as designer solvent because there are billions of them and with different applications, the designer can come up with a new solvent. So some sort of they are a promising candidate for future chemistry where we want new solvents. Uh, however, there are um, a lack of fundamental understanding about their structures and how they behave because they are very charged, uh, very charged. So we are trying to come up with uh, models to address these issues. However, there are a couple of current application uh, about them, including energy storage, gas separation, and lubrication, and CO2 reduction. Uh, you can see a couple of top-notch papers that they use uh, ionic liquid for different purposes, including CO2 reduction in 2016, uh, and electrotunable uh, lubrication in 2015 again, and some other study about uh, supercapacitors. But why doing coarse graining? Why not trying to do all atom MD simulation of ionic liquid? So basically, these systems are highly charged, so they have very slow dynamics, and many f physical phenomena occur in large time and size scale. And it demands different uh, multiple simulation of uh, same ionic liquid over and over. For example, in case of supercapacitor, we need to uh, study the system at different voltages, and we need to get all those data and process them. So all atom MD simulation is, is not a clever idea to go after this type of study. So uh, starting in 2014, people started to study uh, supercapacitor using toy models or coarse grain systems to understand different systems, especially supercapacitors and nanopores. You can see that in 2014, they come up with a charge dynamic behavior using a simple system of just a single bit representing the whole molecule. And their result uh, was really interesting back then. And there was other studies on how charge uh, passes through nanopores in 2014 and 2015 using coarse grain force field. And recently in 2018, people studied the coarse grain force field, again, not all at home, to figure out uh, the dynamical behavior of ionic liquid. As you can see, as we go, uh, over 100 nanoseconds, the system's behavior changes, and it's really interesting. And so all atom MD simulation uh, is not a good option. Here is a list of the system that we studied from both all atom and coarse grain uh, systems. So we did uh, so much simulation in both all atom and CG representation for different alkene chain of ionic liquid that we studied here in order to reproduce a system that, uh, a coarse grain force field in fact, that can statistically uh, represent the same system. So in average, uh, we did uh, nine, microsecond, nine microsecond of simulation for at a system size of 5,000 bits. It includes both all atom and CG system. Uh, for MD simulation, we use Gromax package, which is a parallel package and it uh, scales fairly well on blue water. Uh, in the top fig in the bottom figure, I'm showing the scalability of a uh, Gromax package, and as you can see, it is close to linear and it is faster compared to other packages like labs. And for data analysis parts, and in fact, coarse grain force field development, uh, we use a vodka package, which is a package developed in Los Alamos National Laboratory, and it is not parallel, but uh, it uses uh, 32 threads of blue water, which is a great thing because uh, when we started, we used a campus cluster and it was like 
just 16 uh, threads and it was really slow. So in this study, when I'm talking about coarse graining, uh, I'm specifically talking about systematic coarse graining, which has two different branch, branches, including structure-based and force weight. In structure-based, usu uh, we usually try to retrieve or reproduce the structure of the all atom system. And in the second one, we, as the name suggests, we try to uh, reproduce the force on each bit of the system. We use a relative entropy method, uh, which is an information theory based method, and it connects both all atom and coarse grain system to each other. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to optimize for chargers, which is not usually the case for the other methods. And especially for ionic liquid, uh, charge, op charge optimization is really important because it is the most dominant interaction uh, inside a liquid phase for ionic liquid. Uh, Furthermore, we developed a method to systematically reproduce thermodynamic properties in coarse graining procedure. So we reproduce the pressure of the system using Lagrange multiplier and constraint optimization. So if we write the objective of this optimization, it melts down to a bunch of uh, ensemble average in both all atom and CG representation. So we have to do multiple or hundreds of uh, MD simulation and data processing in order to op uh, retrieve the uh, optimal parameters. So we calculated the first derivative and second derivative and used a newton raphson method to iteratively optimize our parameters. I will talk more about our parameters later on. But uh, so for coarse scanning, we use, uh, by coarse scanning, I mean that uh, we lump atoms together and we expect to have similar behavior compared to all atom system. So here you can see both all atom and CG representation of both systems. A number of interact interacting sites are reduced significantly. Uh, in this case, I guess by at least, uh, so it reduced from 50 to 10, nine, excuse me. And uh, so it is a reduction by n log n for a large system. Uh, uh, we use blue waters for this procedure, uh, for this whole study, because it provides sufficiently high computational memory and power at request, or with limited queue time. As I mentioned, we have to do hundreds and thousands of simul MD simulation and data processing in order to opt obtain optimal parameters. Um, furthermore, as I mentioned, Blue Waters provide a rigorous platform for data processing. Our vodka package only uses, uh, is a multi-thread package, and for vodka, uh, for Blue Waters, we had access to 32 threads in our optimization, which made uh, our life easier. Mm. Here I'm showing again the mapping and the potential form that we use for our optimization objective. So this is our initial system uh, again, and we, uh, we did this study for dif two different uh, reference system, one with four uh, atoms, uh, chain atoms, and one with eight chain carbon atoms. Uh, here I'm mentioning how many interactions that we have in a pair of ionic liquid in just a single system in a gas phase, in fact, we will have 500 non-bonded interactions, 32 bond, 50 angles, and 60 dihedral, which is a significant number, especially if, as for ionic liquid simulation, we have to do annealing and equilibrium, and after that, we can go to the production phase, which is like taking a lot of time. If we don't do annealing, the system will be stuck in local minima and instead of a global minima, which makes a uh, it's far away from realistic behavior. Uh, we consider two types of interaction, one uh, a standard to, uh, in Leonard Jones interaction, and the second one was, was a spline potential form which has more parameter, and when we are doing coarse graining, we have to use more complex potential form in order to represent the same system with reduced degrees of freedom. And we included the Columbic interaction as it is in all atom system in order to have similar behavior for that. 
we did, uh, again, we did multiple iteration of MD simulation and relative entropy optimization. So at the end of the day, we wanted to see how our force fields behave, and so we calculated the radial distribution function of each interaction in each interacting bit in the coarse grain and all atom representation. So radial distribution function means if we sit on top of one particle and move with it, how much density we will see at different distance from that particle. Uh, we used two different reference systems, as I mentioned, C4 and C8. We optimized for 10 interaction in the C4 system, and then we moved to the C8 system in which we have totally 15 interaction, but we borrowed the 10 interaction from our C4 system and optimized only for five interactions. And we got our this, uh, radial distribution function from both potential form that I mentioned and our all atom system reference. As you can see, they are both matching with all atom MG system with uh, a small error in Leonard Jones uh, potential form, which, is, which only has two uh, param three parameters, so it is limited. And the match is great and one of the good ones in the literature. Then we wanted to see how uh, our system behaves in, in a culminative manner. So we calculated the center of mass uh, radial distribution function for both C4 and C8 system. Uh, again, as you can see, uh, they are matching perfectly well for both C4 and C8. So our uh, mapping and borrowing potential from the same class it works well for this system and makes our potential uh, generalizable and transferable for different uh, alkene chain lengths. And this type of uh, match wasn't out there in previous studies, especially with charge optimization because uh, people usually use IBI, which only consider pairwise interaction, not long-range interaction, which is a dominant interaction in ionic liquid. We finally studied charge ordering and screening in ionic liquid. So as I mentioned, these systems are highly charged, and there are a couple of experimental studies going about how lo long-range are the interaction, in fact. And people are coming up with new data every day, and there is some dispute around this issue. We did a large all-atom MD and CG simulation to obtain the screening parameter. So ionic liquids are so structured, so we don't expect this formula, which is some sort of asymptotic behavior of charged, hold for them. But in the long range, it holds fairly well for th them. And we did a large enough system to calculate it for at least three nanometers. And we saw that uh, it, is, it, is, it has a value of 1.20 for C4, which is kind of close to what they mentioned in the literature, and shows that uh, these liquids interact for a really long range compared to their liquid phase. Furthermore, we calculated these uh, screening lengths for different uh, alkene chain lengths, and we showed that by increasing the number of alkene chain lengths, the uh, screening length decreases, and we gave some idea why it, it is the case. Finally, as I mentioned, uh, not finally, in fact, uh, we also used Lagrange multiplier and constraint optimization in order to retrieve and reproduce thermodynamic properties. Uh, when we are doing coarse graining, we lose some degrees of freedom. Our system is not behaving uh, in a similar manner. Uh, ex except for the RDF part. So we added this uh, constraint to our um, method, and we developed the mass behind it, and then, then we uh, added it to vodka package. Mm, and we can go, uh, so we did the uh, simulation and uh, MD simulation in NVT ensemble, but we calculate these properties in NPT ensemble, which is totally different. And uh, we, we saw that there is a good match between all atom and CG system, and here you can see that maximum is, error is 3%. Uh, I'm showing the re reference system with the red rows and red, uh, red color. Then we studied the transferability for different alkyl chain lengths, so we only considered two references, C4 and C8. We wanted to see how our system will 
uh, whether our system, uh, our force field is transferable to other uh, alkyl chain lengths. So we studied two other uh, alkyl chain lengths, including uh, n equal to 6 and n equal to 10. And we saw that, again, density is reproducible with a good error of maximum 3%. Uh, and finally, one of the important uh, properties of ionic liquid is their slow dynamics. And there are many study goings about them uh, and as their structure, which is, I showed, very heterogeneous. Their dynamics is also heterogeneous. Uh, but uh, there is a very t uh, hard time uh, obtaining all atom force field which can reproduce experimental results. So non-polarizable force field, uh, they re reproduce uh, diffusion coefficient, but by an order of magnitude less because of their hard, high charge concentration. And polarizable force field can reproduce it, but they are computationally really expensive. So people usually don't use the, them in their studies. But we wanted to see how our force fields uh, working because it is a force field designed to reduce the computational cost and to work for different system and it, it should be transferable. So we calculated the diffusion. It was two to five times higher than experimental value. Uh, but the important property that we were looking for was to see whether qualitative behavior of dynamic is preserved during the coarse graining or not. So we calculated the diffusion for different system and we saw that uh, the bulky cations, in fact, the large cation, move faster compared to small anions, uh, which is due to the high charge concentration of, on the small anions and um, caging effect inside the ionic liquid, in fact. And we saw that this uh, qualitative behavior is preserved during the coarse graining, and even though there is a two times error in the diffusion magnitude between experiment and coarse grain force field, but they are uh, still having the same qualitative behavior. Mm, in summary, mm, we developed a framework for a coarse grain force field development for ionic liquid, and we added, uh, especially added charge optimization into our coarse grain force field development and thermodynamic reproduction using Lagrange multiplier and constraint optimization. I didn't include the mass behind it. And finally, finally, we studied the transferability of our coarse, uh, coarse grain force field for a cla specific class of ionic liquid at different chain lengths and various thermodynamic states. Uh, we, then we studied charge ordering and screening lengths of ionic liquid from both all atom and uh, CG perspective, uh, which wasn't present before our study. And we tried to explain some recent experimental dis uh, dispute about it um, in literature. And uh, finally, we saw that our coarse grain force field, even though it does not cons conserve the exact value of the diffusion, but it qualitatively it works for dynamics. And finally, I want to thank you, Blue Waters, for uh, giving us the computational time. Be without it, it wasn't possible to do this study.